wow, I'm from UTC Kichwamba. If you hear the mighty college, they are meaning UTC Kichwamba. Compared to others, we are in the lead. I used to, to make these wired uh, cars, uh, toy cars, uh, yeah, out of wires. And uh, so this is, uh, I don't know how I can describe them. So I used to make them. And so one time my uh, grandmother told me, she said that uh, one day you're going to make your own car. So that thing really, it inspired me so much. So I grew up knowing that I must be an engineer. And so when I realized that actually someone to make a car must be a mechanical engineer. So from that time, I, I, I really love to become one, a mechanical engineer. So when I came here, of course I knew now my dream has come to reality. Really, really I, I must make my own car. The hope that I had from when I was still young, I could dream of being engineer, doing engineering, doing engineering. But you know, even when I was like in primary, they could tell me that you are an engineer. I, I didn't know that the people who are already associating with me, they have already, that's, they have already seen that potential in me. I didn't know, but for them, they had already seen it. They would say, that David, you're an engineer. So I could ask myself, hmm, really, is that possible for me to become an engineer? We put up our adverts on radio stations, in the newspapers, and on television within the region for the students who would wish to study, and particularly in courses that are geared to renewable energy, but they are unable to afford. And we put out adverts, people applied. When they applied, we screened the application forms. After screening the application forms, we called them for interviews. So we interviewed them. After interviewing them, uh, no, we, we interviews with particularly to establish whether really they are needy, whether really they are interested in the, in the, in the course, and whether they will meet up to the, the, the requirements for the scholarship, because we needed serious students. So we interviewed, it was a thorough, thorough interview, a panel of the, the team, all the nine members were in the team for interview. So Sunday and Crystalite faced us and we all questioned them, of course being chaired by our principal. We all questioned them, their background, their, how they grew up, and why they think they are the best candidates for the scholarship. I had the radio, over the radio, no media. They were like telling, you know what, Chichwamba and Chichwamba, they are providing two scholarships for the needed people. And I myself, I saw myself among the needed people. So my childhood, no, all in all, I was not all that fine. I was living a struggling life since my childhood. My they could send me home, back home. You know what, David, they have not completed yet school fees. They have lifted me from the other childhood of struggling. At least now I'm becoming an engineer. So now I'm seeing myself very bright. My future is very bright. When we went to Sunday's home, I was amazed at how we got the best candidates for the scholarship. Honestly, I, there are people there who want to study, but they don't have the means to. I saw my future frustrated. Like I didn't see any other. I didn't have any other hope. Uh, yeah. But then when this scholarship came in, then. And then I became one of the beneficiaries, really. I see everything now enlightened, and everything now is so very clear to me. When I came here, they interviewed me, and then I was one of the beneficiaries. Yeah, so really, it has done a great work for me because I can now see now the future. So I was, I was really, I, I really felt it like, like a privilege, eh? and I saw really my life now, everything changing. Maybe at one moment I even thought that maybe also these people also maybe they be, may be coming to lie to me because as others have been doing it. But then I bless God, really, this was real. It was real. It was real. So I thank you really, uh, the Hans University, for, 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 for the faithfulness, like keeping your word. 
Yeah, because very many people may, may, um, may say something, but then, then they don't fulfill it. Yeah, th those things are always there. Yeah, but thank you really for standing by your word and then to fulfill what exactly you promise. Yeah, I'm really grateful. I may not utter everything out, but I'm grateful in my heart. Hanze University Foundation provided funding first for training our staff in renewables, secondly funds for putting up, setting up the solar panels for both street lighting and the resource centre and then Hanze University Foundation is sponsoring two students, two brilliant but disadvantaged students, on the two programs that are dominated by renew uh, renewables, which are mainly electrical engineering and mechanical engineering. Before UTC Chamba got, uh, got that help, we were generally in, a, in a darkness, especially if power went off. The college would be in total darkness and uh, students would uh, not have where to read from. So they would go to the hostels and sleep. This is something that we used to read in the books. Just read it. You have never practiced it, and you don't know what it is. Now, after the installation, when we are now teaching them in a class, because we used to teach the theory without the practice, now they can practice. They even know, yes, I can also be able to do this. So in terms of addition, value addition, this project has added a lot of value in terms of the green energies. We have actually added the solar as a major component to be able to create awareness even among the trainees. That look, the way to go is now to go the renewable energies and the one which can work best in our area, because Uganda being at the equator, we have a lot of sunshine. So we are making, we have emphasized it in our, in our, in our training. Even one of the real life projects is solar electrical installation. And we are now going out to, 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 the, to, to, to the local governments to be able to install street lights. So in terms of sustainability and in terms of knowledge, fantastic. Second semester, which was last year, we did the solar panel. So and of which the solar panel were very, very important in our lives. For example, like how we did that solar, that solar pole, eh? the street lights. So in other words, the street lights was all about that connection. Connection parallel, so then from that, we got to where the regulator was, from the regulator to the panel, to the batteries, from the batteries. So then we connected to the load, the load which was the lamp. So finally we got light from the sunlight. So that's renewable. We were in the dark here at the college. We didn't have uh, security lights. And uh, that was very important because we felt students were at risk, especially the girls. When the lights were put up, the girls uh, were very, very excited. And actually they kept on saying, I wish all the college streets are lit. But uh, they feel more secure, they can walk around uh, the, the streets very, very freely, knowing that they are very secure. Yes, they are happy about it. Before the street lights were there, we could get scared of okay moving. Although the securities are there, but trust me, somebody can hide somewhere. I know that all the times they're watching over you. So at times you could feel scared of going somewhere. As I told you, one of the, the, the students that are sponsored by Hansi is my friend we pray with. Sometimes we couldn't go for evening glory because you could be like, okay, although we are praying, but something may come, you know? So we couldn't feel safe, but I'm glad that after the lights are there, we feel so nice and good. Girls are, are 
are now eager to come to this institution. Before, we have been getting very few ladies or females. But now, because they know that the place is secure, there is enough light, they get information from other students who finish from here. So now they have started coming in a large number. Because they know that everything is there. Even when they want to revise, the power is always available. The solar is part of what is improving, on, what is making the students improve on the performance. Because now they can revise full time, 24 hours, they can revise. Yeah. And the time they know they can wake up, they, they are seeing well where they are stepping, and they can come to some of the lecture rooms, they can go to the library, they can go to the resource center and make all the necessary research without fear. We as a technical college, we have a number of things that we want to give back to the community. This is what we started on. Through our project of real life, we look at what the community needs. For example, we, we look at the, the construction needs of the community, like churches, like playgrounds, and we go on and we build. We may use our, our, our practical materials, yes, but while there, the students are gaining experience, they are, they are learning, and we are also giving back to community. Other than that, we, we want to also light up the, 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 our local town here. If we, it's, it's our desire that this, this, not only the college streets are lit, if we can light up also the streets along the main, the main trading center here, that would be really beautiful. For, for, for the community, I think they will really love it. If you receive an opportunity, then why you not again take it to someone else? Yeah, so of course, as a, as a, as a, as a, as a person who has received this scholarship, and then also as a technician, then of course I have to, to serve my community and then serve also my family, yeah, through this very opportunity that I've received. So I will not just sit on it and then make it uh, perish without any effect in my, uh, in the, around my community. Once someone has helped you, also need to help us other people. After like, for example, I may complete my education here in ETC Kichwamba, and I may start earning some money. So after me earning that some money, I won't forget my background, even I won't forget the community. Because I myself, I could also start like, you know what, since I got this scholarship, let me also at least try to redo the scholarship. I will, I'm like, I will try to repay back in other words, I'm going to send to other people the scholarship. Also, I'm all, I can also give them scholarship because I'm having my money, so then why shouldn't I supply it to the people who I need? Like, I remember when I was in need, they remembered me. So why can't I also remember other people? Gabo Sima Kutsebu, Mwesinja. Ebiya Mama Tukorea Nebe Nene. Mwesinja Kutsebu. Wanyala Nabi. Mwebale Muno. We are going to be able to get a lot of money. We are going to be able to the University Foundation to be able to get a lot of money. We are going to be able to get a Uganda no jinyo, the pearl of Africa, the land of beauty, good people everywhere. Uganda no jinyo, the pearl of Africa, the land of beauty, good people everywhere. Seta kakenda bunaira, ngazali wamu. Uganda, see, I'm getting ya.
Sagara, anywhere we don't have a Kumbesa, to know that I have a Burambuzi, to live in the Sikiriza, where you can come west, not to know that I can come east, not to know that I can come north.